All right, hello, good morning, everyone. Good to see ya. Um, I'm so thankful you guys are here. Hello there, feel free to say hello in chat. Uh, I'm gonna dive into today's uh, masterclass, all about new 3D in Illustrator. <coughs> Excuse me. We are gonna be taking, uh, we're gonna be actually doing some graphic design work. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into some cool 3D sort of work. So again, a very graphic design focused, and I'm glad you're here. So good morning, Bobby Orlando, Reverb, Mike, Frank, Egan, uh, Marsha, Monica, and Michelle. Oh, my house. Thanks, my hair's looking good. It's a little lopsided because I did a workout this morning, and it's not. I'm, I have I have not showered, but now you know everything. So uh, let's dive into more important things and fun stuff because uh, you can see just a number of things here that I'm kind of working with. But we're gonna talk about 3D, we're gonna work with 3D, we're gonna have some fun today. Because hey, you know what? It is Friday, or fry yay as we could say, so we can take that. And I'm just gonna paste this on its own layer and we'll just like have some fun with this text. Okay, I'm gonna just change the tint of it a little bit. Let's just kind of go with something like that. We'll turn that off. And we'll just kind of dive into uh, 3D right now. Hey, let's go with Fry Yay. Why not? Uh, so welcome, everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. So this is the text. Super fun text. Just so you know where I got this. If you take a look at all this big mess of things. Yeah, I was on Pinterest uh, looking up at fun type, all sorts of cool things. And I'm here in fonts.adobe.com. So if you go to home, by the way, you can go to um, font packs. Oh, recommendations. I went to recommendations, if you're curious where to get some cool fonts, and then go to like trending, right? Because I saw a lot of the same type, or at least what I was drawn to was this like funky 70s type which is what I'm going to uh, use, right? So again, we'll scroll down. Maybe we'll find it in here somewhere. Um, Picadillo. I like Apley. Yeah, so anyways, that's where I got it. Got it from one of these font packs, uh, just so you know, and it was a trending one. So anyways, that is the idea. Grab what you want. I like this campaign. I like the just look of this, right? It's just kind of cool. So anyways, that's where I got my fonts. We can come in here. Uh, let's select this top text and we'll just open up the 3D panel and we'll get this party started. And I'll move the mic a little closer to my face. Whippy, yippee fry yay. So we'll go to object and we'll just jump in and immediately notice these are all of our options. We'll just hit extrude, boom, done, right? We have these on object controls to kind of move this around and uh, maybe angle it up, right? That sort of thing. I think it's fairly intuitive. If you grab the center, you can kind of freeform rotate it around. Um, but I think it'd be kind of cool to have this Give it a deeper look like that. In fact, let's just get rid of this one. You know, give it a lot of depth. Fry, yay, right? This is looking cooler, right? Just have that jump out. Even grabbing the outside right here, since I need to kind of like make it a little bit more level, right? I can do that. And also notice that we have presets off to the side right down here. So fry, yay is right so the cool thing is is we could always jump in and if we want to give this like more of a pop of color yeah we can go ahead and you know increase the sort of the brightness of this get this to look a little bit better give it more of a pop if you will cool Uh, yeah, for colors, we should talk about colors all day long, because that's what I was doing. I was um, looking in here, and then I was thinking about colors and other assets. So yeah, color, if you .adobe .com, 
just like you do fonts.adobe.com, you can do color.adobe.com, and uh, you know, try to go through what is trending in here as well. So, sure enough, fashion, graphic design, this is what I would want to pull from, maybe some of these. Um, and Ooh, illustration, I like this one here. Ooh, add to library, let's do that right now. I'm into this color sequence. You could also download it as a JPEG if you want to, uh, or you could even sample from other assets. But um, yeah, that's being downloaded to my library right now and uh, will be available for me to use. Uh, the question is like, what library was it added to? So that is the big question. But nonetheless, we'll change that later on. We'll get in our 3D and materials. We'll make this a little bit more interesting, right? Um, Cause I'm thinking the bevel as well, like it's kind of flat. First off, the font is kind of difficult to read. So let's be careful if we add a bevel, which we'll, we'll just turn that on and you can see it adds that a nice little bevel. I'm okay with that. I wanna actually do something maybe like this classic outline, right? What I think is really cool is you could take any one of these, you could take the steps. So take the step and you can add as many steps as you want. Currently you only have one. So we'll just like decrease the width of it and let's add a number of repeaters. So da, 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 da. actually let's make the width a little bit thicker. See what we're doing there? We're creating this nice like edge, which I think is cool, right? Having that repeat, still keeping the clarity. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, some of these new are actually, I feel like they're almost like new features because I never remember seeing bevel inside. And that's why I'm glad we're covering 3D and Illustrator. It's like, I feel like we've been sneaking some things in here. Um, and uh, you might just be finding out for uh, them for the first time as well. Bevel both sides, this is definitely new, but I think this is actually new to me, bevel inside. But anyways, we got our fry yay. It's going on okay. Um, so that's that's fun, that's easy to do. We can uh, take this, uh, work on materials. Yes, we can play with materials, we can play with lighting for this. So we just wanna make sure that we have more of that splash of uh, light on the face of the text as I rotate this around. So that's all I'm doing, rotating this around and also adjusting the height. We do want a, some spillage, if you will, some light on the sides of this um, as well, just so you know, okay? Yeah, you like the bell inside? Into it. So let's go up right up here, because we haven't even seen the true magic of this all, because right up here, we will click, and we'll turn on ray tracing, right? It's just gonna be low ray tracing. We'll click render. Right, and that's why I just stuck with something simple right now so we can get that immediate gratification. I love the 3D in Illustrator and the export uh, as an OBJ for Dimension, Doris. Good call into that. So look at how much better this looks. Can we just like marvel at this for a second? Look at that. Again, super clean, I get it. It kind of looks like word art, um, but look at how clean this is. Look at how clean that is, huh? Isn't that nice? Okay, just so you know, that is um, the ray tracing, right? So I would end up um, sort of rendering this out as like a JPEG. So that's what I'd export. I'd export this out uh, as a JPEG from here, just so you know. Um, uh, what I would advise you is to make sure you turn this off because you don't want it to have to render while you're working. So yeah, that looks pretty crisp. So we're gonna turn that off. And uh, we'll just take this because I'm gonna do some other fun things. This is the other fun thing I like to do. Let's take this, we will go to um, uh, the rotation, we're just gonna do top. Ooh, not top, let's do front. There it is, we're looking straight at it. Um, we are going to take down the depth, right? So it's gonna be not quite have as much depth, just so you know. 
But now we're gonna get into lighting and we're gonna turn on shadows. So now we can start playing with the shadows. So let's rotate that around, right? There is some clipping that takes place. Notice the clipping on that mask or on that text. That is the shadow bound. So what do we wanna do? We just wanna increase that. Make that as big as you want. But now we have this frye. Now let's have some fun um, rendering this. And let's just like make sure we got, I don't know, just kind of tweaking it. Let's go something like that. Um, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and render this and see how it looks. I'm gonna see that pop of, hopefully a little bit of that pink in the shadow is the goal. Okay, so it's doing its thing. I'm not drinking my coconut coffee because I'm a weirdo, just kidding. So you can have export as SVG and then play with, play with it with code, yeah, RB. Taking it to the next level, I'm into it. Um, one thing we don't have is importing of OBJs. Um, that would might be kind of interesting. Uh, but really what you what I would want to do is create my type lockup or my logo or whatever, and then I can kind of turn it into 3D here and uh, go with it from there. So there we are. Look at this now, huh? Ooh. So, so there it is. It's a little, it's a little sharp. It's not subtle at all, right? Not subtle at all. So that's okay. Oh yeah, you like coconut coffee? It is good, huh? I'm just like weird coffees. Um, let's kind of, if we dive into the ambient light, so we could start to change this up a little bit if we don't like the look. Now, what did I just say earlier? Hey, you know what? Maybe turn off the rendering because notice how I just clicked once. It's like, oh, it's trying to render it out again. So you kind of want to just use that render when you're ready to see a quick preview. Hello, Muriel. Um, Shamim. Uh, yeah, I'm doing well. <sighs> What's new with me? That was a good question. I got third in the racquetball uh, league, advanced league at my club, and um, and then I'm like in box two of my squash league. So that's what I've been doing. I've been playing a lot of racket sports because that that's what that means. Love the racket sports and pickleball. All right, so. Um, Again, we could kind of change the height because maybe we want this a little less, sh a little more shallow. We could actually add a diffuse as well. So check this out. This is the diffusion, right? We could still stretch that out, rotate that around. But the softness is cranked way up. So we're just going to see how this looks really fast. Again, what I did is I selected diffuse and diffuse really cranked up the softness. And maybe we'll just bring up the intensity a little bit as well. But let's try this once more. Click to have it render. It'll go through and do its thing. Uh, yeah, thank you, Bliss. I did crack my lip and that was like two weeks ago. It was so embarrassing. I cracked my lip with my own racket. I hit myself in the face and then I had to go like officiate a wedding like three days later. So I had this big old like, it was just kind of embarrassing. It kind of went away, but I was still embarrassed by it. Uh, <laughs> Reverb mic. Diffuse. There we go. Come on now, people. Ugh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what the diffusion did, huh? Are you, are you not entertained? This is what I want. So this is what I'm going for. And I'm really just experimenting with um, one piece of text before I get into my full on design. But like, this is what I'm looking at uh, creating. I think this is awesome, huh? Can we just marvel at this for a second? Look at how nice that is. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Right, so much better. So what have we learned and what have I learned? Well, hey, crank up that, uh, the soft, let's take a look at what it says. The ambient light, the softness, we cranked up the softness and that's that did the trick. Um, and the ambient light. 
Uh, what's unfortunate is sometimes you think this changing the light color will change the shadow and it will not just so you know it's going to change wherever it hits but we could still try some of those things as well so let's again we learned our lesson we'll turn that off we'll go in here we're going to change this to like a blue like teal color all right and that's what we get now we'll just quickly uh render this and just kind of see how this looks after that one color change okay Wait for it, wait for it. Everybody take a drink of your, your coffee flavored coffee, Frank. <laughs> oh, do this with fills and strokes. That would be fun. I like the idea of having like maybe some piping. That would be really cool. You know, some piping around this text would be would be nice. Um, but okay, there we are. Um, again, not not quite as cool. I don't know. Whatever you're into, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. It's all right. Uh, oh, oh, there you are. So sure enough, the lesson we learned here is uh, the type is pink, the light is teal and you mash them together you're just getting a blend of the two since the light is teal it changes the pink type to purple as you can see all right all right that's cool all right now we know all the magic this can do we can get into our phrasing do some designing and then think about how we can start to integrate some of this type together so this will be fun uh it's it is interesting that it turned to purple i'm kind of kind of surprised all right, so, uh, tch, 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 tch. this is what I was working on. I have a couple different uh, phrases, as you can see right in here. Uh, I really like see good in all things and then deep breaths. I like deep breaths as well. Okay, so really what I was going to do is do see good in all things. So this will be the phrasing that we're gonna to design to. So again, more than one word, we're getting a little advanced. I'm really into this font, if you're curious, that font is called ne ne Nepulse Ultra, right? So we want to kind of lock this all up and make it look interesting is the plan. Um, so let's do that. Let's get this party started, okay? Let's take this. We might put these all on different lines. So what I want to do is I'm I'm kind of into this like 70s look, like just like kind of hippie-ish colors, which is why I had these other images. Like these are this is the color inspiration, just so you know. And I'm gonna be able to steal all the colors um from that image for my text that i'm working on right now okay there we go we got it maybe what i will do is i'll take these So my goal for this design, there's my backup text. Here's the text I'm working with. Uh, I like the idea of having a bunch of objects, seeing good in all things. So I wanna have all these little like um, inanimate objects. I wanna have like a toaster and it has a smiley face on it. And like, you know, the light bulb that has a smiley face on it. Like people that of course are smiling and stuff like that, but having these inanimate objects that have faces. Uh, would just be fun to do. So I'm glad you guys like the font. Oh, it makes me happy. Um, and yeah, maybe we still have these colors. We could take this, number of ways we could do this. I'll just do an image trace. We got one, two, three, four, five colors. Uh, yeah, we'll just do six colors right there. We'll select that. Sure enough, smashed it, expand it, right? We now have that. We can just go ahead and steal from this 
object. And uh, da, 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 da. I need one more color, but I'm even into that background. Wow. And yeah, we can play with this later, but I like that. Just fun. Ooh, that's fun too. That's kind of, that's kind of an accident, but into it. There we go. So uh, yeah, there we go. Let's play with this. Um, bear with me. Let's go to my colors, which we can see right here. Ooh, those are gorgeous colors. But yeah, let's just drop them in. One, two, three, four. Let's try this. Boom. All right. Check this out. Are you guys ready for this? I'm always like, Illustrator always amazes me. What did I just do? I started adding each individual color to my swatches panel. Ba 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 ba. And you guys are like bored out of your mind. Um, but then I was like, oh, I could probably select them all. And can I add them? Yeah, as a color group. So I just clicked right there. It adds them all as a color group, as you can tell. Right? Isn't that awesome? So again, just do that. I could have actually done that with this original image too. I could have just taken that, boom, put that all in there, you know, and then start to pick from it as well. So anyways, um, yeah, something I should have known about. Uh, let's, cause again, I want to kind of mix up the colors. Boom, boom, maybe yellow, maybe, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, let's do our type lockup and hopefully you guys like this. And I know this is all about 3D in Illustrator, but we have to get our design squared away and all of our fun little objects. So uh, I want this, this to have like um, a playful look. And uh, what I'm thinking now is I take this and, and maybe I have this, maybe this isn't bad the way it's at now because I still want to have objects around it. But let's select all this text. Let's go into our 3D and materials. And rather than doing our extrude, We'll do this fun inflate, because again, these are kind of bubbly fun textures, or excuse me, text. And then we'll just do something like that. Now it has that like fun, like kind of bubbly look. And let's play with the lighting, because what did we love before? We loved diffuse. So yeah, let's use diffuse. Oh, and this is like, you know, you learn something new every day. Because now I'm realizing that under inflate, oh, there we go. So there we go. All right, so let's, let's undo this. I'm gonna select this text. I'm going to group it. And uh, now I'm gonna go to object. I'm gonna inflate it. And now I'm gonna go to lighting and turn on the shadows. The short of it is, is um, since it uh, wasn't grouped, I had control over individual object, the lighting for it. But then what I did is I grouped it because I want the lighting to be consistent. Uh, let's see what this looks like just for fun. Wait for it. Uh, yeah, there we are. A little fuzzy, but that's why we'll change the angle. But it has this fun, playful look, which I'm totally into. All right, we'll turn that off. Uh, we'll take down the softness. Maybe we'll uh, increase the shadow bounds. And uh, again, I'm just playing with the height because we want a little bit of a... There we go. We want a little bit of a, an angle to it so it's not straight on. So, right, so there that is. Uh, super easy, looks kind kind of lame in here, but we'll be able to uh, render this and it's gonna look gorgeous. All right, first time using 3D in Illustrator, awesome. 
Just so you know, I'm using the new. See, this isn't this isn't this fun? Isn't this just fun to work with? So we could have all these like fun objects around here. So this is like fun and bubbly and cool and all the things, okay? Um yeah, so let's kind of work on. And by the way, that will stay. We'll even lock that down. We'll just add a new layer. Um, let's do one more. I'm going to take, again, this is just like a light bulb shape I was working on. Right? I made this light bulb. Just so you know how I made this. If you guys want to see really fast. Boom. Zhaboom. Bada. Gata. Center. Oh, what are you doing, Paul? That's a, that's a square. No, it's not. It's now a circle. What about this? Oh, no. We just want these lower two curved out. Just make it boop. Just like that. Oh, take this. Uh, you know, join them however you want. Pathfinder, whatever. Then take these two points right in here. And then we just curve them out zoop, a little bit. And then adjust these. So there's your light bulb. You know, slightly different shape, but you get the idea. It's just going to be a fun little light bulb with some cool eyes on it. Right? So we'll make some fun eyes. Chopped that in half. We get this shape right here. Right? Super thick line. But let's take this, let's make it white. Have this white line. White line, go to object. And then we will go over here to revolve. Ring. There we go, makes a vase. Hey, that went the wrong way. Let's do it off the right edge. And now we have our uh, lovely little light bulb. Uh, but we're missing the bottom part. So let's undo this. Uh, go back to our line. And maybe I'll just make it black so we can see it a little bit better. Because I need to add on like the base. So let's do that really fast. Zip. So this, these two don't get in the way. Let's move this down. Oh, it's actually, a, it's even a different shape. It actually has a little bit of like a little part down there too. So let's take this. We'll take all three of these points and zip. Give them a little, a little curve. Du -du -du -du. You get the idea. We don't need this middle line. Let's cut that out. And there we are. So we are going to make this black part. The bottom part's gonna be um, just like, um, I don't know, like a sort of a, a, a goldish, like that. And then this top part's gonna be white. Now we'll take these, we'll group them, and then we'll do our revolve off of the right edge. And there's our like light bulb. Cool thing is, is we could always change this, because again, I'm not crazy about that shape. You can go into your um, appearance panel and then just turn it off, right? Just kind of turn it off. We could see like the original shape and uh, tighten this up the way we want. Like do something like that maybe. Heck, we don't even need to uh, turn that off by the way. But uh, yeah, there it is. Cause we could still edit these as we move along. Like if I want to see the bottom piece like a little bit more, let's go down there. Da, da, da. Come on, buddy. Where are you? See, look. So I'm actually like working in 3D. So this is really fun, huh? Uh, like this needs ridges too? Yeah, let's add some ridges. I'm not sure how many. But like the, uh, whatever, like the little screw grooves. Pull that out. Bloop. Bloop. Oh yeah. All right, let's grab this one. Move that out too. Uh, add another point right here. So yeah, this is just really fun to work with. 
down, up, down, up, down. Um, so yeah, whether you want to work in this like 3D mode or not, it's totally up to you. I get a better like idea of what it looks like, that's for sure. So that's why this is so helpful. There that is. Yeah, that's all we need. You know, let's not, let's not go crazy. There's our light bulb. Um, let's put a face on it, shall we? Let's have a fun face. Um, and somebody's killing it. How to make it taper? That gets a little more tricky. Do you actually want it to like be like a screw? That's that's a whole other thing. That's that costs you extra. As in, uh, I don't know how to do it. As in, uh, it's actually not possible currently. But again, we just tweak those. I can kind of make it look like it tapers by having these one, this one a little higher, and maybe this one's a little lower. But either way, I think that looks good. Let's put a face on it, right? We're gonna do happy little eyes. I'm gonna knock this out. I did this. Um, I feel like I did this about a month or two ago. Uh, something similar. But again. You know, I made a face a, a while ago, and yeah, I need to make another face today. So we'll make these fun eyes. Uh, oh, right there. Get some little eyeball right in there. How do we want this to look? Are they big eyes? Um, yeah, is it difficult to do diagonal ridges? Yes, it is. You're exactly right. Oh, I made the face on the plant. That's right. So I'm trying to determine what's... Oh, you know what I need? This is the type of shape I need. I need to do the happy eyes. So we take this bottom one and we'll just like move that up. We we'll kind of maybe want something kind of like that. Well, Maybe. I want to do like happy eyes. Wait for it. Wait for, hold, hold, hold. Maybe it's like that. So we'll try this eye out, right? I could have done this like a, a thousand different ways. I'm not, I'm just, I actually just did it the fastest way possible, just so you know. So here's our two eyes. We will group them. And uh, let's get into materials now. So we have this lovely light bulb. Still need to fix the shape. Is this driving everybody crazy how thick that is? Yeah, let's move it up like that. That's better. Okay, so it's still gonna be this playful look, but let's go into materials. Um, since this is one grouped object, I really only have one material that I can add to it. I can add more of a metallic look, and that's what I want to do. It's like, give it more of a sheen on it, as you can tell. And also, we can crank up, like, the intensity of the light, right? That kind of gives us this, this, this look that we might want to go for, uh, like so. And let's rotate... I'm rotating this light around. This is interesting. From the other side, like that. There we go. Okay, let's put on, um, put on the eyeballs. So go to materials. Um, just so you know, uh, you could apply any of these materials to your object. I just picked bubble gum randomly. We'll give it a second because it needs to apply it. Right, there's the crazy bubblegum look, which I'm really into since I'm doing this like kind of 70s funky. This is a really cool texture. Like if I decide I want to use it, I can come down here, this repeat, don't have it repeat so much. If I, if I take the repeat down, you can see that fun like texture, right? And uh, yeah, you get the idea. You don't even take down the lighting. See, look at that. Look at that fun. 
So that could be fun. That's just a fun texture. Okay, it colored the whole object because it's one grouped shape. This is what I want, so I'm not gonna worry about materials. What I am gonna do is I'm going to, for this object, I want to add it as a decal, basically, right in here. So we'll take this, we'll drop it into, add it as a graphic. Sure enough, there it is, as a graphic. If we go down here into symbols, it's the same library. Okay, so there it is. Select my object, go to my graphic, just click to add it. It's gonna slap it right on there, right on the object. Let's move it up. And uh, maybe rotate it a little bit. Uh, thoughts on the eyes? You know what? It needs a smile. That's what we need. Uh, yeah, we kind of forgot that. Yeah, let's just drop a smile in there really fast. Boom, boom, shabam, baka. So many sound effects today. Chop this off. Give those little cheeks, like, a little part like that. Right? Kind of like that. That's what I'm going for. You know what it is? I just realized where this, where all these ideas are coming from. It's from those books, The Little Miss So-and-So. Uh, what are they called? Can you guys help me out here? The Little Miss, I don't know. Hold on, I think I posted it to, I posted it to Instagram just like the other day, so bear with me. Let me try to copy the link and paste it in here. Boom, I love technology. So all these like little misses, little miss. So th this is kind of what's stuck in, in my head is like these type of faces. Little miss Earl, little miss working nine to five, little miss queen of my double wide trailer. So look at cute. <laughs> all right. Got it, got it. What are these characters called? Tell me. They're all over Instagram. What do, what do we call them? They're Little Miss Everythings? Is that what they are? There's a design version that I posted to Instagram a couple days ago, but it is also lost in the ether now. So uh, nonetheless, that's kind of the jam we're going for. We have our little smile, slap it in there as a graphic, just to show you that you could add as many graphics as you want. Just click on it. Now we have graphic number two, which is the smile. And that looks... It's not bad, all right. But we could play with these. Maybe they're little. But uh, now that I have them created, I could start dropping them on all objects. And I really like the idea of making a toaster too. But here's our character. Let's take our fun little character. Bring him over here. Let's bring him down. Zoop. Fix the eyes. I feel like when I shrunk it down, the, uh, maybe the face stayed the same size, but there we go. All right. Thing is, I would love to have, I used the wrong uh, orange. I wanna use the same orange, by the way. So I just love that I can still come in here um, and, you know, pick that color that I want. So that's what I'm doing right now. Select this, remember the colors that we have saved. I think it's that one. Turn it back.
back on. All right. Uh, the face needs some work. I get it. The, what's the problem with this current design? The, the, the eyes, the blacks, it's just, it's too black, right? It needs to be so much lighter, if not blue, if not orange, something else, right? The cool thing is we could go in and change that. So let's try that right now. We're going to take this smile, which again is a lovely symbol. So we'll go in, we'll edit this symbol. We're gonna edit this black color. We're gonna change it to the blue that we used. So let's just try that blue. We'll do the same with the eyes. And again, I don't know. What's gonna happen here, but we will find out. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Just checking the time. I do thank you guys for hanging out with me. So we made that blue. Let's try it out. Let's go drop back out. Oh yeah, it did it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, updated here, updated here, updated everywhere. Fantastic. Right, so is that the right color? I don't know. Color is a whole other thing that I need to kind of think about at some point. But what I do need to do is change this lighting. There we go. Uh, would love your opinion to see, um, yeah, just to, you know, I think it's almost too detailed. I almost want it to be simpler, but nonetheless, we can make other objects. Let's work on a toaster. A toaster should be pretty easy. Ooh, maybe the light on bulb, like the, oh, that's pretty good too. Um, we can make a face. Make a person. Let's do a toaster. In fact, let's go out here. Toaster. Let's use noun project. <clears throat> I just like this little app. It's like it's so easy and simple. Like this, this sort of shape is what we're going for. Like that. It's a little little piece of bread popping up. Right? That's kind of cool. Ooh, this would be fun to make too. So either way, let's just jump back in here, paste it in, right? This could be inspiration, which would be really cool to make. How fun is this? Add some shadows like the text. Yeah, it needs that as well. You are exactly right. Um, okay, so let's do that. Lighting, turn on, shadows increase shadow bounds. And thank you so much for recommending that because now I can actually see where those shadows are being dropped. Um, and, uh, I can adjust accordingly. There we go. Okay. You ready for this? I would say since this is done, uh, the softness is about 85. Let's just click render on our little guy. Oh, and there he is. There he's looking so much better. Thank you so much for that suggestion, turning on the shadows. I really appreciate that. But that looks good, okay? Maybe the face needs work. That's okay. But uh, let's, let's make some toast now, shall we? Or a toaster. Rounded rectangle. We will not make this bottom portion rounded. Maybe it needs to be just like sharp like that. Maybe it needs some little feet. We could spend so much time on this one, by the way. This will be interesting. Um, I'm just thinking through this in my brain. Let's give it a color.
All right, easy way to do this. Jump back out, extrude it. Um, and then rotate it, maybe back this way. Zoop. Something like that. We need the um, little bar on the side. So this is gonna get uh, a little bit complex. So I'm gonna change this to, I really gotta remember this, this rotation is what it comes down to. So I almost wanna just zero, like make this 170, 150, and this'll be 170 too. No, 175. Okay, cool. Got that. Let's just change this. Let's go into diffuse. Let's turn on the shadow. Uh, shadow bounds. And there we go. There's the shadow. So here's the start of our toaster. Let's just render this real fast, see what we get. Okay, let's increase the shadow bounds. Okay, so there's our basic toaster. Now we need to put objects on it and all that fun stuff. What's up? Colby's in the house. Happy Friday to you as well. Okay, so check this out. I can make this really easy on myself. I'll just take this. Let's actually turn off the rendering. Duplicate this and just go nuts. Zoop. 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 Shrink that in like that, because what am I making? Any guesses? Maybe we'll round this part like that. And we will make this black and we will also give this a uh, bevel as well. So we're just gonna round it. So we're rounding the ends. It's hard to hard to see that it's black, but that's that's what I there we go. We'll actually go with like a a gray. So there we go. We just made the handle. Put the handle like right on the side. And uh, 30. There we go. Cool. Uh, just checking the time and chat. The shadow is a little strange. So we do have a little bit of a conflict. So this is what makes it difficult. What I actually need to do is I, it gets, it gets really difficult because we're starting to know a little bit of a limitation is, um, the fact that you can't make two objects sort of part of the same world. You can't have two separate objects part of the same world. And that's something we need to, uh, that's something we, we need to get resolved like Adobe does basically. So it's like in Photoshop, if you, you can have multiple objects all part of the same world and they're all casting shadows on one another. So. All right, nonetheless, let's turn this off. Let's make our toast. Bread, maybe even a darker color. Jeez, how is bread shaped? So like that, but we need to bow the top. How do we do that? Hey, let's just go into object, uh, uh, make with warp. And we'll like, I was thinking of bending it like this, but really bend it like this. There we go. Arc upper, does that look, does that look right? Something like that, roughly, uh, anyone, anyone? Maybe it's a little tall. Hey, we'll jump in there, we'll clean it up. We just made it smaller. If 
thoughts? Get that bread in there really fast. Hurry, Paul. There's no time. There we go. We got it. Extrude it. Guess what? I want it to be the exact same extrude, but guess what? It is already. Should already be. Oh, maybe it's not already in there. Hit I. Sample. Boom. There we are. Sampled that. Done. Change this to like 10. Something like that, and that's that's where that goes. But again, we we talked about that limitation of like these aren't part of the same world, um, and that's an issue. But it's not bad. Ugh. Let's get that. Let's throw a little face on here. By going into materials. There it is. Bingo. Bingo. Shrink it down. There's our happy little toaster. Not bad. Wait for it. Uh, there we go. The lighting. This does a world of good. Except for right there. Like this. You know what? I'm actually going to turn off the lighting for this one. Let's just turn that off. Maybe it needs lighting, but no shadows. There we go. Oh, I forgot the little feet on the toaster, but you get the idea. Is this all making sense? Are we learning something? You know, I would want to make some like really fun people. So not only see good in all things, but see good in people as well. Boom, there we are. How easy was that? Let's we'll make a quick person, shall we? 3D materials. Let's go to the object. Let's bevel it. Make sure it's rounded. Round. And here's our like lovely round face. And hey, we want to curve this out some more. Make it look just like give it a rounder face for this person. You know, there you have that. There's like, there's a face. Should I still need to work on it? They need is, uh, yeah, everything is awesome. That's hilarious. Let's make this. Fill color. Uh, yellow. There we go. Bingo. Cool. So thanks so much, everybody. I still need to continue to work on this, but I'm also doing the Photoshop uh, daily challenge today as well. But I thought this was a lot of fun. I think the whole theme is, uh, you know, pretty clever and um, 
I'll hopefully find time to finish this. I'm sure I will. Just, I don't know if I'll get to it today. But hopefully you guys had fun watching. I'm just going to probably tweak this to death. You know how that goes. But uh, still, it's really cool to spend time in Illustrator and just like dive into the 3D and make something awesome, right? Super cool what we can do. So I'll just leave you with this graphic. So I don't have more done, but you know what? Such is life. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Cody, Ferry, everyone. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll get this posted to Instagram at some point. Uh, stick around, we'll get Tara up next. And then you got me again as well in Photoshop. So thanks so much for watching everybody. And we'll see you all soon. We'll see ya.